And introducing to you in the blue corner, representing Morocco and Holland, we have Halim Isui facing in the formidable Thailand fighter Sutsakorn so Klim Eid and this gentleman comes here with an unbelievable amount of fights three three minute rounds of fight code rules and if you've just joined us where have you been there will be five seconds active clinch knees are out to the body and the head no elbows three three minute rounds and the crowd are already just seen a spectacular entrance from Sutsukon coming in with a big blue mad Hercutic wig with glasses on. Brighter than mine. Nice tight tattoo on his back, but it's not about these little aesthetics, it's about what happens now. Now this gentleman, Halim Isui, I don't know if he knows anything about the fight code. But the last fight he had was for my fellow Englishman, and it was Simon Chu who he beat. So that is a good scalp. Simon Chu, one of UK's greatest 72.5 kilo fighters, fighting two divisions, that and a 75. But he came to fight the fight code and didn't pass it. This gentleman there in the black shorts, blue gloves, with Isui across the back is one to watch, but he has got the toughest test probably of his life. Well, definitely the fight code test. That's indeed because Sutsukorn from Thailand, 281 fights, it says here. 239 wins, 38 losses and four draws. That is impressive. Well, both fighters have set out the stall pretty early. Remember, it's three three-minute rounds. Fight cold rules. If it goes to a draw, there will be an extra round. But right round the ring goes Sutsukon, chasing and hunting Halim down. Beautiful big low kick. I felt that from here. He can't be showing pain so early on. That's not a good sign. Crowd cheering every time the tie lands that. And that's where he's tapping into that 281 fight record. Halim needs to not get involved there with that low kick. He needs to either move from it or he needs to kick with that leg before he gets the chance, the tie, to sink another one into that thigh. Nice knee from Halim. But that kick goes in again. Look at the size of the leg difference. The, but bear in mind, these guys are the same weight. The weigh-in last night, 72.5. Tai smiles like only Tai's do. So he's drawn a bit of a short straw here in this eight man. Remember, it was 16 down to eight. Well, heavy duty low kicks coming in that first round. So what is being said in Halim's corner? What can you say in his corner? But he needs to stay away from them low kicks. He's representing Morocco and Holland. And Sutsukorn, well, we know who he is representing. Here we go, some little action for that first round. You can see why, 281, 281 fights and just showing almost contempt for his opponent. And when I say contempt, contempt with a smile, only ties can do that. A land of smiles. But. <laughs> a bit out of sorts there. But we saw some really stinging low kicks. We didn't actually see there in the replay, but they're the ones to me that are going to play damage and probably take the sting out of Halim Isui's tail. But, like I said, remember he beat Simon Chu. Simon Chu, no mug from England. We'll see that. 
nice combination, but that low kick finds his mark. I think Sudsukorn has seen a chink in the armour of Isui early doors. Strong punches into the clinch. Nice low kick, but I took on the shin there. Nahali has come alive a little bit in the second round. He needs to get off them ropes. The Sutsukorn is cutting his ring down. Block that low kick. You can see even with that power of that, he moved. Hallen is moving him with that again. Look at that. Oh, it's from Deer. The referee just moved in too many cornermen. A good sight there from the referee. He's only three cornermen taking it on the shin. But he, how many more of those can he take? And he's already limping. This is not good for Halim Isui. But Morocco Holland taking the punishment. Big low kicks coming from Sutsakorn. And I can hear the corner telling him Halim to use his boxing, but we know he can hit hard. But when you've got somebody hitting that hard in front of you, easier said than done. And I've got Sutsakorn down to go into the final four, but it's not a foregone conclusion. The referee stepped in there. <laughs> And he's going to get an eight count here. Fumbles for that gum shield. Well, with 49 seconds on the clock, that is not good. Is he going to see this round out? Sutsukorn smells blood. And it comes from them low kicks. Chopping the man down relentlessly like an axe on a tree. Like a mad axeman in a forest, he's chopping those legs. And look at that, he smells the blood. But he's using the hands to disguise the kicks, and I'm sure he's going to go back downstairs any minute. There it goes, yes. And, oh. oh, controversy. <laughs> The referee having a tough time in there. I saw he went down, was going to get an eight count, jumped up and went for it. Subs the corner, hit him back, hit him back. It is an eight count, and rightfully so. He should have took that count before he decided to get back up and try and kick Subs the corner. I can understand his frustration, but closing seconds, can he hear? Well, he took a warning. Oh, beautiful jumping knee from Halim. Well, the low kick goes in again, not once, but twice, but thrice, and four times. Is he going to count him? Nung Song Sam C, they say in Thai. One, two, three, four in Bolton. But we're in France. Un, deux, trois, quatre. How many more languages? He's got a cut. Don't turn your back. Oh, and the bell goes. He's very lucky. Pain goes down the front of Halim's face. Sutsukorn asks his cornerman, what? What was that about? I can understand his frustration as well. I don't know. The referee had a bit of a tough time there to try to sort that little misdemeanor out. Well, there she is. A little ring lady smiles away to soften the tone. There's a lot of testosterone in that ring right now.
See some of those exchanges before. Just pure punishment. My friend beside of me, Murad. Buffer is he's known in the game. The MC. He's been working on and out the MC for us, which is Barbara Snellenberg. We've also got Marina at the side of us, who's been able to do some of the interviews later. The fight called Team. It's going from strength to strength. Well, we've seen controversy. We've seen low kicks of death and doom from the tie. What has been said in Halim's corner? Is it going to be enough to fire him up to meet this relentless punishment of low kicks coming from Sutsukon? He needs to get his hands up because Halim is dangerous with those hands. He's got power in both. He is a southpaw going in with a jumping knee. But to me, it's going to be just time, or is it? It's one of the rules you can actually hold the kick. So Halim now in southpaw. Trying to get away from that right kick. Oh, Abune has gone from downstairs to upstairs. And Halim just fakes, messes about with him by dropping his hands. That's not a good thing to do in front of Sutsukon. Sutsukon remains with his hands up. Smiles, though, as he both landed a hook. And he's right above the commentary box here, right above the station. And he reigns in with big hands. Big hands. Punches, kicks. One minute has only gone. Two minutes left. It's going to be the longest two minutes of Halley's life. Oh, and a big right hand. And it's going, it's too many standing eights. And it's going for the three knockdown rule. The referee points that out. But to me, that might have been a blessing in disguise because to me, Sutsukon stands up there on the neutral corner and absolutely punches the sky like I'm doing now as to why he just is the man of the match. He goes to each corner. He also goes and shows his respect just above here in the blue corner to show why he is one of Thailand's best. And here we see some of that action. Boom! Halim thought that might have been a low kick. Hands were down. And it came upstairs. Then it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. How many times can I say it? Relentless. So the man who's put this all together, and in only a year's time, we've seen fight cold go from strength to strength. Sutsakon, Sutsakon!